Dear colleagues, I can see the looks on your faces. Armenians are going to speak about Azerbaijan aggression, POWs, Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, and Azerbaijani delegation will burden you with the flow of a fake information. But let's, let me explain you why we are obliged to speak up about the humanitarian catastrophe caused by the Azerbaijani blockade of the Lachin Corridor and other above-mentioned topics. Please consider my words not as a political speech, but as a food for thinking. For instance, some of us today, after the session, will visit one of the restaurants here in Strasbourg. And I'm asking you, while choosing your dinner, please keep in mind that 120,000 people in Nagorno-Karabakh have nothing to choose from but the plain pasta or buckwheat. No vegetables, no fruits, nothing. And when you, honorable colleagues, will get to your cozy and warm hotel rooms to hide from the cold wind and watch some news, please remember that 120,000 Armenians have no gas and electricity for six to eight hours a day. For those of you who have children, please imagine what would you do if someone in the world would hinder their education? If it would be so cold in the classrooms that the schools had to shut down for almost a month? And if any of you will have a headache after a long day, please, while swallowing a painkiller, remember that 120,000 Armenians in Artsakh are running out of meds. And when Mr. Seydev will tell that self-proclaimed activists are exercising their magnificent right of freedom of speech, though the center's freedom of speech in Azerbaijan is an oxymoron, please remember that Azerbaijan is 104th in Environmental Performance Index by, by Yale University. And I don't recall any mass ecological protests in Azerbaijan. Though a few moments ago we witnessed an Azerbaijani representative questioning French democracy. Could you imagine that after 9th of November of 1989, after the fall of the Berlin Wall, in Europe there will be a place where families and relatives are forcefully divided? In 21st century, children are not able to meet their parents for more than one and a half months. But make no mistakes, we can't wait for 30 years. The Lachin Corridor has to be unlocked now. And as Lemkin Institute for Genocide Prevention stated a few weeks ago, the world must act immediately to prevent a second Armenian genocide. Thank you. And I call you to support the amendments presented by the Armenian delegation.